cock. Otherwise known as a chicken. Also otherwise known as a pollo. Today, we're heading into the Los Pollos Hermanos custom map. Yeah, I just did that so I could say cock in the intro. Please don't demonetize me. Okay, here we are at the Los Pollos Hermanos establishment. Right outside in the parking lot. I'm not gonna lie to you guys. I've played this map before, uh, but it's gotten updated. I literally just played this map. I was about to start editing it. And then I go and I check the Steam Workshop to see if it got any updates. And it got a huge update. So I'm playing it again. But we have played a Breaking Bad map before. We did play at Walter White's house, which is really fun. One of the first custom zombies maps I played on. But I was talking with my, my friend Voidzy, who also makes zombies content. You guys should check him out. But he was telling me that there was a Los Pollos Hermanos map. So I'm like, you know what? Let's try this. And it looks like there's a lot more content in here than the last time I played it. When I played, it was literally just the restaurant. And then there was like a, a little small Easter egg you could do. It would literally just go up and interact with three things. But now I think they added a lot more. So I'm excited to see what's on here. And so far, this looks really good. This looks identical to what the restaurant looks like outside. So let's open the door and head in. Gus got the KN44 on the wall here. Los Pollos Hermanos logo. Oh, this already looks a lot better than it did when I played. Oh, they got the menu up over here. The ABQ hot chicken sandwich, the pollo tenders, the fring fries, slaw goodman. Okay. I wonder if these are actual things at the restaurant. That'd be so cool. I think the, the actual restaurant where Poyos has filmed that is called like Twisters. I wonder if they actually have all these Breaking Bad items. But there is a box spawn right here. The box is not here though, unfortunately. I could use another weapon, considering I'm completely out of ammo right now. Uh-oh, I don't want to get pinned back here. Let's grab the KN-44. I think we have just one zombie left, so I'm going to try to make my way further into the restaurant. After, of course, I grab a few extra points from this. All right, let's move these debris. Now we're behind the lines. Got another menu over here. How much is the store? 1,500. What the hell? I need more money. Big Fring will give me a job here. We got double tap in the kitchen. We cook faster. All right, let's pop the door open. Oh, we got mule kick back here. And the game crashed. Oh, wait, no. It's just freezing up a little bit. Wait, it says power's in here. I can't open the door. Zombie, please. I can't open that. And I can't open that. I'm too broke. Oh, there's another door here. End the game. 50,000. That's a ridiculous amount. Actually, I think we've played on maps with a, a higher end game cost. I think it was 75,000 on the last one we played. This map's tiny. Very hard to get around. I think I might want to try to get outside to the parking lot. That's probably the safest place to train and get points. All right, I think we have enough cash. I'll leave these two zombies to roam around. Let's see what's going on in the kitchen. Not a whole lot. Literally just double tap. I'll take that loose change and a loose change from here. What's through here? Oh, it's Gus's office. L okay, so last time I played, they've added these. And it looks like there's a whole new area to go to. I'm excited about that. How much is it to go down? 2,500? We have exactly that amount. Let's head on down. No way. They actually recreated the lab. This looks so good. This looks just like the show. Oh, I'm, I'm having a nerd boner right now. Oh, and they got Pack-A-Punch down here. This is sick. How do I put on a suit? Let me put on a hazmat suit. I'll cook up some blue. I'll do it. Oh, speed coal's down here too. Give me that. Is there a way up the stairs? I don't think so. Oh, power's right here. Let's throw that bad boy on. Does anything change now that we have power on? It looks like that's the place we should be able to get to with that broken wire or broken railing but i can't buy that yet maybe it's not finished up there i gotta keep checking on this map to see if they add more because the white's house is cool and everything this is so much better this map is insane oh it's a zombie spawn up there that's why it's broken so the zombies can get down how thoughtful of gus i think this blue meth is what made these zombies in the first place i think back when like the walking dead and breaking bad were going off on amc there's a big theory that that waltz heisenberg's blue was was the cause of the zombie apocalypse in The Walking Dead. And now we actually get to see what that would be like. All right, let's hit the box. What you got for me, Gus? Give me something good. Okay, the brekkie. Decent. Walter. What? Put your dick away, Walter. I'm not having sex with you right now, Walter. All right. They turned Mike Ehrmantraut into a bear, and he's not going to have sex with us, which is unfortunate. But in the description of the map, they did say that they added in a new, like, hidden Easter egg. I'd need to find all the Salamanca's cocaine, and then I'll get a free perk. So, so far, we've only found the Mike Ehrmantraut bear. There needs to be more. So let's go take a look around the map, see if I'm missing anything. Okay, first of all, going to need Jug. Gus, what's going on, pal? Got the ray gun on the desk? Hold on, zombies, get on my way. I need to give Gus a kiss. There you go. So I'm not seeing anything in the kitchen. Nothing out here. There's another bear. What happens if I interact with this one? Oh. I'm not having sex with you right now, Walter. This bear is also not having sex with us right now. Oh, here's another bear. The last one. Uh-oh. I started the song. This goes hard. 
Lock. All right, the song just ended. I'm not sure if I'm gonna get copyright claim for that. So I'm gonna go ahead and like cut most of that out. But uh, while I was playing, I was just enjoying myself out here, grinding up some points. Now I wanna stay on the lookout for the, the Salamanca's cocaine so I can get that free perk. Oh, wait, is that one? Is that to shoot it? Oh, I do. Okay, so that's what I'm looking for. Any on your desk? No, there's gotta be some in the lab. There's no way there's not. Oh, there's one. Where would the last one be? Actually, while we're here, let's pack a punch our KN44. Perfect. Beautiful. Pack a punch camo just looks like the default camo. It would be really cool if they decide to put like a Los Pollos Hermanos wrap on this. I don't know how, uh, you know, making custom maps works and everything. If you can do uh, custom like pack a punch camos, but making it look like a Los Pollos Hermanos value meal would be sick. So we had one over there, one in the lab. One's got to be like outside, right? Separated into three different areas. Oh, is that it right there? It is. Oh, we got it. Ooh, they gave us electric cherry too. And they played the Breaking Bad intro theme. Pretty sick. Oh, I should have waited to do that until after I had four perks. I'm pretty sure there's a four perk limit on this map. Damn, that's a fumble. We have speed cola now. They even try to make Gail's coffee maker. They put a coffee mug here. That's sick. So much attention to detail in this. Damn, they left all the crystal on the ground. Jesse's gonna be pissed. He could have smoked that. Mr. White, we got zombies in the lab, yo. We gotta take care of this. It's like the fly all over again. I'm gonna switch out the brekkie for this Vesper right here. So I wanna stay down in the lab for as long as I can. And that's gonna be something we can just get ammo on. But we did the Salamanca Easter egg. We've done the song Easter egg. I guess all that's left to do is try to save up and buy our way out of here. Let's get our Vesper packed. Bring that here. And you know what? Let's throw an ammo mod on it. Oh, we got fireworks? Not bad. I got such a soft spot for these Breaking Bad maps. It's my favorite show of all time. And out of the maps that I've played for it so far, They've all been pretty good. And they just layer some memes in there. I just want people to keep making more of these. What else would they make though? They have Poyos. They have Walt's house. They got the lab now. They can make Jesse's house a whole map. Maybe like the RV in the desert. And they have Saul's office that they can do. They've already kind of done that for like the Pack-A-Punch room on Walter's house. But it'd be cool to see a map with all these together in some way to like get between them. That makes sense. So I'm going to keep my eye out for more Breaking Pad maps. Actually, let's test really quick. Let's see if there's actually a perk limit on this map. Oh, there isn't. Let's go. We're chilling. Give me double tap. Give me a mule kick. Why not? Stamina up. I'm coming for you next. Come here. Any other perks I'm missing? I don't think so. Now that we do have mule kick though, let's see if Gus will give us a wonder weapon. Come on, Gus. Eh. Not really what I'm looking for. Help me out here, man. I know you got some wonder weapons you want to give me. The rift? Come on. Please, Gus. Please, bro. Oh, again? Come on. What about now? Nope. All right, one more time. Help me out, Gus. Butthole. It's actually getting pretty difficult to save money. I keep having to buy ammo for this thing like every few rounds. Now I actually need a good weapon on the box. Come on, Gus. Enough playing around. Uh, all right. I'll take it. This is actually a pretty good spot for sitting here and trying to grind through rounds. All the zombies coming from upstairs go straight down and around all the equipment this way. There's a spawn I'm aiming at and a spawn right above me and they drop right down in front of me. Easy spot. Until I run out of ammo, which is very soon. Good thing I have two weapons. Well, actually I have three, but two weapons that are viable. This thing's already almost out of ammo. No power-ups this round? Anyone got a max ammo for me? Please? No? Cool. I have no ammo for the weapons I need. All right, I need to pack punch this thing. Go ahead, get in there, get packed. There we go. Give me an ammo mod too. Thank you. All my guns got fireworks on them. There's the max ammo I've been looking for. Let's go. When I aim down sights with this, it almost looks like gold viper. Kind of crazy. Ooh, this actually might be it right here. We're really close to that 50,000. Oh, now we definitely have enough. But I kind of want to see how far I can go in this. All right, you know what? Maybe I'll go until I have doubled the amount of points. Hopefully I don't die before then. But I, ju I just want to keep playing on this. This is fun. And we got a strat going now? Come on. How can you ask me to stop? But I am out of ammo on two of my weapons. So if I go down, I'll, I'll run up and buy the door. If I can even make it back up there. It might be impossible to get back up there during a round, actually. Kind of trapped down here. I am so low on ammo, though. One of you guys got to have a max ammo somewhere in you. Come on. This is not good at all. Okay, I have less than a clip left. I need to buy ammo. Okay, give me it for the Vesper, please. Thank you. And for the KN44. Now watch this. The first drop of this round is going to be a max ammo after I just spent like 9,000 buying ammo. Oh my God. Look who was right. I swear max ammo is only here to troll. In every single game that it's in, 
Max ammo only exists to troll. And Cold War, you buy ammo from the, the ammo box. Guess what? Max ammo spawning immediately after. And BO3, you buy it from a wall buy actually at any Black Ops game. If you buy ammo from anything, you're guaranteed a max ammo very soon after. It's got to be like programmed just to troll people. I swear. This is fucked up. Okay, it's getting a little rough down here now. Actually, no, it's not. I'm a gaming legend. Round 30 effortlessly. All right, I've more than doubled the amount we need to do the viable ending, but the viable ending is just going to end the game for us anyways. I think I'm just going to stay down in the lab until I die. Because we've already proven we can get enough points to, to buy our way out of here. Let's see how long we can survive under Gus Fring's zombie apocalypse. I'm going to throw out a guess. I'm going to say 37 or this round. No in between. So I could just run out of ammo this round and completely die. Uh-oh. It's already happening. Okay. I don't know why, but I just suck. This is like that, that picture. It's like breaking news. LeBron James have gone down during insta-kill. That's me right now. What the hell? Get out of there. You're contaminating the batch. I guess I need to go on a perk tour. And get all my perks back. Man, I forget this isn't Cold War and you don't get your, your mule kick weapon back. That sucks. Rip the Tommy gun. I'll miss you. And rip electric cherry. We'll never get that back again. There's no more cocaine for us to find. But it did take us all the way until round 30 to go down, so that's not bad. All right, Gus, what do you got for me now? Ray gun? No, a rocket launcher. I don't want this. Give me something different. Please? Okay, yeah, you're gonna move the box on me? That's cool, that's fine. Whatever, dude. So there goes my uh, third weapon. Not gonna be able to get that. So that means I need to leave a zombie at the end of this round so I can grab an actual third weapon that's not this atrocity. I don't have PhD to even make this useful for me. I'm just gonna end up taking myself out. Actually, rocket launcher, why don't you make yourself useful and give me a crawler? Did that work? I think so. Oh no, I accidentally ended the round. Shit. Well, where the hell did the box go? I thought there's only two box spawns on this. Is there one in Gus's office? No. None over here. Is the box outside? Can it spawn there? Oh, it's right here. Cool. Let's start her up. What do we get? The Drake on? I'll take it. This thing's kind of a beast. All right, let's see if Gus is just being stingy. Oh, wait. I switched out the wrong weapon. Oh, that sucks. Okay, well, let me get you out of here. I guess I'll take the VMP instead of you. Ooh, hold on. Let me get some points with this bad boy real quick. Oh, in a fire sale? Perfect. Let's run it. Oh, we got our Tommy gun back. Cool. Let's keep hitting it, though. The Rift E9? Come on. I know you got a wonder weapon somewhere in here, Gus. Stop being stingy and let me have one. Come on. No! You're trolling, Gus. You're actually trolling. All right, well, I'm switching this back for the KN44, and I'm gonna go repack a punch it. Can't believe I switched it out. I'm a fucking idiot. Get this pack a punched. Let's get that an ammo mod. There we go. Oh, it's got turned. Perfect. And then let's get our KN44 pack a punched again. Ammo mod on that one, too. Okay, fireworks. So we got our exact KN44 back. I'm pumped about turned. Turn's gonna help out a lot. Now we can finally get back to grinding. Okay, maybe not. Maybe not. My strat no longer works. But you can't say I'm not committed to it. Fuck it. If we die here, we die. Oh, shit. Yep, we died. <laughs> okay. We had 1,600 kills, three downs, two revives, 628 headshots. Pretty cool map. I like it a lot. I want to see more of these Break It Bad maps. Or this one continue to get expanded. Because it'd be cool if you could go through, like, different eras of it. Maybe in, like, some Better Call Saul stuff would be sick. Uh, that, that's just coming from, like, a Breaking Bad Better Call Saul fan where I just want to see as much of it as I can. But overall, the map's really cool. It's really fun. They really did a good job of remaking the lab. But, uh, unfortunately, I'm ass. We could... Well, no. Actually, I'm not ass. I take that back. I could have definitely bought my way out. But, you know, that's the... That's the bitch way out. You know, if I'm going to game over, I'm going to game over on my own terms. And that's what we did. But with that, I'm going to go ahead and end today's video. So if you guys like this, you want to see more, go ahead and leave a like on it. If you didn't and you don't dislike, if you're new here, please consider subscribing for all kinds of COD content throughout the week. If you want to keep up with me outside of YouTube, you can go ahead and follow my Instagram, my Twitter. Links to those are down in the description below, as well as a link to my Discord if you want to go ahead and join that. But that's going to be it for me today. I'll see you guys next time. Later.